forth. Um, you know, they're just hard to be. I tell you what, uh, when they were first mentioned as an award recipient, I just said, yeah, yeah. We talked about a little more, yeah. Talked about a little more, yeah. That, that's, that's, that's a great choice. And so uh, we received a, um, a letter on their behalf, uh, and I'd just like to read that letter. I would like to nominate Kathy's Dance Art Studio for Business of the Year. KDS has been in business since 1968. You know, it's had several owners, but the ones now run it like no other, let me tell you. And I think Paul would agree. Um, KDS is now owned by Karen Mannion Cox and Emily Mannion Barker. These two sisters go over and beyond their, uh, for their students and their friends. They not only teach quality dance, but they have a positive influence on the children they teach. Karen and Emily have <coughs> not only business or not only business people, but also community-minded people. They realize that the children of Magnolia and surrounding areas don't have enough activities. And so therefore they sponsor uh, Halloween parties, winter formal, et cetera, things for the children to do. Karen and Emily always are always volunteering in our community with Magnolia Blossom Festival, Relay for Life, Miss Magnolia Scholarship Pageant, Columbia County Fair, Arkansas Children's Hospital, and numerous other organizations. KDS, KDAS is a fun and safe haven for our children to attend after school. While waiting for their dance classes uh, or for their parents, KDS provides a place for them to do their homework and get tutoring if they need assistance. KDS's yearly recitals are free to the community and always are well attended with standing room only. The recitals are very fun and entertaining. KDS uh, attends many local, regional, and national talent competitions each year, and KDS usually wins the Studio Spirit Award. Once you are a member of the KDS family, you are always one. Therefore, I'd like to nominate Kathy's Dance Art Studio for Business of the Year. And we thought that was a great idea. So girls, come on up. If you're not friends with them on Facebook, you ought to be. It's the most interesting things you'll ever read. I won't repeat anything here. I did want they had, uh, how much money did y'all make in the garage sale y'all had on mine? $2,000 a piece. I had to unfriend them from that. Uh, I did. I bought, right after I bought something from Emily, I had to go in there and take Columbia County Yard Sale off my friends. So there was just too much going on. These girls are just into everything. So yeah, they were having a contest. And so, uh, yeah, if you, if you want some interesting and a good laugh just about every day, you'll be their friend on Facebook. I look forward to it. But girls, we appreciate all that you do. And, and, and last year, I know most of you will know that we, we fought breast cancer and uh, we're still fighting and doing some things. And, but uh, when the, the Blossom Festival rolled around and I thought, oh, I'm gonna have to find somebody else to do that. No. We did, we did the did the pageant, the Blossom Festival pageant for me, and then went and had surgery. I tell her all on Facebook all the time she's my hero. So these girls do a great job. Uh, it's a great business in our community. We're so proud of them, and here you are. Thank you. I'll try to feel for my mouth when I use my Facebook terminology. And when Robert called me to tell me this, I honestly thought he was joking because that's just uh, my sense of humor. But uh, I was floored. We're honored. We love this community. We love this town. We've been here our whole lives. Um, Ten years ago when Paul and Jim called us to come over to their house, we had no idea. We thought, are we getting a raise? What, what's going on? <laughs> and we were told that we had 13 days to decide if we wanted to buy the business. So People's Bank, you believed in us when nobody else did, and here we are ten years later. So. Um, we thank y'all and we want you to know that we go to nationals and we win those spirit awards and those kids get to yell Magnolia, Arkansas on the microphone. We know you would be proud to know how they represent your town because it's pretty awesome. Thank y'all. Thank you.